The following episode is dedicated to our loyal listeners in Ram Alley, Wiltshire. Welcome to the stays. I'm Jazzbot. I'm Tim Otaku. We're in. Yes. We're here. It's been a while. A bit rusty, Tim. Oh, is it? Is I it? Feel, I feel a bit of cobwebs. Okay. So um, you're a little you're a little bit rusty around the uh, around the chin area. Around the rim, yep. You get you've given your uh, yeah. What do you call it on your face? The hairy bit? The beard. Yeah. You're giving your beard a little tremo. Yes. I've had a haircut. Yes. Well, I, we went. We actually went out the other night and I thought, I better have a shave. People haven't seen me. Oh, yeah, right. They don't need to see that um, hate, they don't need hate to be con- Yeah, they don't need to be confronted with ancient history. <laughs> what I did learn was my ponytail is way far, far, far too long for public consumption. Okay. Uh, so I learned how to man bun it. Man bun it. Yes. Okay. Uh, a punter at the party, he had a man bun. He wasn't a bunter? <laughs> he was a bunter. I said, oh, is it going to be too many man buns? Is two too many in one place mm. at one time? Mm. And he came he came correct with the bun already up. Okay. And a bun in the oven. So, 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 yeah. So, did he have a Gene Simmons bun? You know, like, this was... Like, on... On the on the top, tippity top of the devil's head. Well, he was yeah, he did, and he said you could, I could have it anywhere on my head. You can have it low, you can have it medium or high. Okay, what about what you. about to the left? Hang into wow, the left. Wow, that's a little bit more punky Brewster esque and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. Or, or is it more like a layer? Princess oh layer. yeah, yeah. The further around you get, the more Star Wars it becomes. Mm. Yeah, you're right. Um, yes, but let's not talk about Star Wars. Grown men talking about Star Wars <laughs> in the year 2021. I just... We're really talking about Star Wars? Or... <laughs> the references, it just never stops. Okay. Yeah, I think, it does. I never think we all need to hearten up. Yeah, well, let's let's get into the episode, please, shall we? Please. And uh, yes, plenty more to say, Stop I'm sure. me right there. <laughs> stop. Welcome to a new segment. This is, um, I like to call it Gold Digger. Uh, say another bit of Gold Digger? Goal. Oh, goal digger. Yes. I see what they did there. Yeah, Only they're... after you said it twice. Well, 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 my lovely wife slipped this into my car. Okay. Uh, to use as a diary, but I didn't realise it had so many uh, life lessons. It's, oh, it's an inspidorial. Yeah, it's it's like <laughs> <laughs> you get to you get to uh, put your goals in and set goals and write it down and read uh, okay. read all the you know the. Wait, stop right there. Okay, I will. I think it's a ploy, right? Yeah. I think she's just trying to get you to get you to open up and talk like a oh, sensitive yeah. new age guy. Yeah, because I don't do enough talking. So you write in your diary. She she knows the diary. All she needs to do is listen to this episode and she'll okay. know everything <laughs> yeah, that's right. on my mind. <laughs> okay. But the only thing is, it's um, it was a bit of a boondoggle, this diary, because it's a 2020 gold diary and it's all about you will get it done this year. Oh, you, right. You, you, okay. you got to strive and the only, reason, the only thing that's holding you back is you. Oh, or COVID. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> 2020 diary, inspirational 2020 diary. What a what a conundrum. <laughs> it is. Because because it's um, similar to um, like the flu vaccination, for example. Mm. They predict what the next season's going to be and, and and inoculate people for the season that's coming. So this this was done the year before. 2000. In preparation for 2020. Sure. Um, any predicts? Oh, there's heaps of predictions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can it, it will uh, inspire me? Oh, Read me one inspirational. I'll, I'll give the the shout out to the guy Adam Jellick from My Goals Founder. He's the My Goals Founder, spelt M I Goals. So, uh, uh, me so Goals. First goal this year is learn how to spell. <laughs> page one. <clears throat> okay, so and then the first page I, and then it's you're supposed to put Jezbot. I'm committed to turning my dreams into reality and taking actions on the things that matter most and help me grow as a person. Yep. I will not waste this life. I will have, and I will make sure I give 100% of myself to fulfilling my potential and making the most of my life. It's a long sentence. Mm. And then you've got to sign it and date it. Oh, you have to sign it. Yep. I was going to say, it sounds like a magic spell. Yeah, so... <laughs> oh, he, boy. Um, <laughs> yeah, it <laughs> Promise, is. do up, hold. Satanic rule and all right. Let's let's just hear some because every day you get a different little bit of a inspirational thought from oh, nice someone. One. So let's kind of 
Success isn't always about greatness. It's about consistency. <laughs> Consistent hard work leads to success. Mm. Greatness will come. Oh, excellent. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. Wow. I, I never knew he was so good at selecting uh, quotes out of um, pre-written quotes. Yeah, I'll have that one. <laughs> Give me a page 37. Um, yeah, I didn't know he was so Australian. Oh, yeah, no, neither did I, actually. Oh, let's hear one more. Okay. Because you should be so bloody jumping out of your skirts to go and get your goals done by now. From, well, yeah, from, uh, well, inspirational maybe, maybe that's what this segment is at the start of each uh, episode. Oh, we'll do idea. a little bit of an inspiration from, from somebody that we know, we all know so well. Yes. You know, and someone we know we can trust. Yeah, that's right. Uh, someone we can believe in. Mm. Um, They've got all the good advice, these celebrities. They, they do. Because they, the celebrity <laughs> culture really went well during the 2020s, didn't it? Mm. Like, you really want to hear from Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah, I, I, I know I do. Yeah, all you got to do is, like, Fucking look, exercise every day. Look like me. Yeah. You know? Yeah. See this money I've got. Be the highest paid actor in try uh, make, Hollywood. Make, try and make this money. Yeah, how hard up. I dare ya. Come on. All right. But what about this one? I always believe that when you follow your heart or your gut... When you really follow the things that are great to you, you can never lose. Because settling is the worst feeling in the world. Oh, Rihanna. <laughs> oh, it's like said, a... Okay, that came from a, uh, a, a lady that was in a, an abusive relationship, to mm. say the least. Mm. Um, settling is the worst feeling in the world? Mm. What about the whole world... <laughs> airing, yeah. airing your laundry out, and the, <laughs> I don't know. yeah, something like that. Trigger. That's a but, trigger. But uh, yeah, but the um, I think I think that the quote is inspirational. But then, as soon as they um, footnote it with the mm. name of who it's affiliated with, it just undoes the whole inspiration. Yeah, yeah. you got to attach a, a uh, you got to attach a quote like a good feeling quote to either Jesus. Yep. Gandhi. Yep. Uh, Muhammad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and the other ones. And all the others. <laughs> um, all right. Well, look, my gold my milestones, this is for you at home. Just. Um, yeah. Well, give us your mile, milestones for the episode. Yeah. Yeah. What are the significant things you will need to do to reach your goals? Mm -hmm. You've already thought of your goal. Yeah. Uh, you know, what are the essential steps before moving forward on your goals? Mm -hmm. You've got to have a goal to move forward on it. Yep. Can you break your goal into measurable achievements? Okay, let's let's do it like this. We'll break it down in, in pod terms. Mm. Uh, what is the goal? To create an episode. Correct. What's the second one? <laughs> <laughs> what are the essential things? We need to record it. Hit record and make sure it's recording. Right, correct. Yep. And can you break your goals into measurable achievements? Well, Steez is a little Four measurable. segments. <laughs> So I think we've, we've achieved our goal. Yep. Put a tick on that page. I will tick it. Uh, yep, and um, let's hit this next week so we can get everyone motivated for 2021. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, this is of the week, I mm. guess. Yeah, okay. I want to do a cock heist. I, oh, a cock heist. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't call it your cock, my cock. <laughs> <laughs> cock heist. Yeah. Well, do you remember episode 199? Okay. Uh, do you remember? Yes, what I do. Called, what was uh, it called? I believe it was something to do with um, the little creature hamsters. Yes. Hamster heist. Heist. Hamster heist. <laughs> yes. yes. So I want to do a cuck heist. Cuck heist. A cockatoo heist. Oh. Oh, damn me, local guy. A cock or two. <laughs> there is two of them. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, and uh, you know, I'm down in my garden supplies, and they've got these yeah. cockies in the cage, mm. and it's a big enough cage, but they're just like they shouldn't be in the cage. How do you know cockies don't like cages? Well, because he's picking his, you know, his feathers off and stuff. So mm. that's no is he? good. Yeah, but he also knows how to speak English, which is great. Do okay. want, oh, does he? Yeah. So I'm thinking of asking him whether or not he wants to get let out. Okay. Do you want to hear? Oh yeah, some, just give some us a cock. <laughs> Do you want some cock? Hello. That's me. That sounds like you. That was me. Hello. Hello, buddy. Hello. Hello. Right. Hello.
Anyway, so he said, okay. he said he said goodbye as well, which I thought was very heartbreaking. Okay. Just called me a cocko. Yeah, I think he did. Cocko. Cocko. <laughs> did you just call me a cock? So fucking, I don't know. How do you feel about? I reckon uh, uh, all cockies and... think their name's cocky because everyone's always saying hello, cocky. Yeah. That must drive you bloody mad as a bird. It's Gavin. It's all anybody ever says to you. Yeah. So, so it's like, you know, you, you, you're there and uh, hello, Jeremy. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, what's going on? Hello. Uh, yeah, hello. What's going on? <laughs> hello, hello, Jeremy. Jeremy. Yes. Hello. And they're thinking, geez, yeah, these, cool. these humans are really... Uh, Goodbye. Stupid. Hello. Fuck, can't. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, we've done that one Hello. before. Yeah, we have. Yeah, we yeah. have. Um, but uh, so what's what's the plan here? How are you going to get him out of the How do you do a day? cock heist? Well, you, um, you involve Simon B and his wife. Oh, uh, yeah. And you get them to do it. <laughs> Pretty much. Tell them about it. Tell so them about heist it. Heist two. Because she hates to see um, hamsters in um, yep in a you know in in cages. A, in a cage, yeah. You know that aren't What's what's the movie properly. called? We got hamster was the original hamster heist. It's and called, you got um, um, hamster uh, the heist uh, heist two it's electric called, cockaloo. It's called two cocks. <laughs> okay, two cocks, one cage. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and as it turns out in the end, it's Simon and his wife are the cucks. Yeah. Yeah. And they cuck the bird. Uh, well, don't give out all our movie ideas. Was it just, did this just turn into Pitch That Bitch? I think it did. <laughs> all right. Um, it just breaks me little fucking cocky heart. Yeah. So it breaks your cages. Heart. I just never understood how people could like go, I love birds. Let's put it in a cage. Yeah, let's, what, let's. What do you love the most about birds? Oh, the fact that they fly and stuff. You no, know, when they pull their feathers out because they're tormented from being in a cage. Oh, like a bald, <laughs> cocky. Anyway, I've got to answer this. Paper Hill, Victoria. Get from today onward. To fix up the problem, please press one to connect with Telstra. If you wish to disconnect your internet, press two. I say, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's always the way, isn't it? You go, oh, what's what's where's this call coming from? It's coming from um, Upper Kambuckna West. Yeah, it said. And you're like, it must be important. It said Bakery Hill, Victoria. Have you ever heard of Bakery Hill? No, it smells delicious. So. Mm, Ooh, good pies. Oh, in the mornings when they're yeah. baking that bread. Yeah, but here's the here's the rub. Oh, mm. I've been getting those phone calls for three da- three days straight up. Um, saying my internet's going to get con- disconnected tonight. Mm. Uh, but I'm not even with Telstra. Oh, well, that's the catch then. <laughs> that is the catch. Yeah, that is the catch. Um, I suppose if you pulled out enough so is lines, it, is it real or is it real or is it fake? Pretty sure Telstra would never um, call their customers like that. Like that with a recorded message. You are currently going to get no internet from tomorrow. Days. Disconnectoid. <laughs> Kid disconnectoid. Yeah. Oh, it just bloody does me bloody. Oh, it does your dickens in because because yeah. we're all waiting for work. It's just like we're sitting here, <laughs> getting our we're getting our work vibes on, yeah. right? And then you're getting calls. Oh, it's some work this coming might be some in. Work from Bakery Hill. Hill. Oh fuck! It's the IRS <laughs> coming to get me for my taxes. I might have already been put in jail. Uh, I think that's the um, that's just the way of the world now. I don't know. I got nothing. Yeah, the people fall for anything. Oh, I guess they they they, they, they Sean do. Like oh, no, that's just got me bloody. That's just got me going. All right, so it's not work. No, it wasn't. No. All uh, right, there you go. As you were, that's just uh, just a quickie that just came up. Oh, look, J- Jesbot and I often look look in our past history and our phones for you know stuff that might spark something that we've done, something that we can talk about. I came across content a, grabbers. Uh, Content grabbers, yeah. Is that what you call them? No, I just coined it. Okay, great. Um, and um, I went past a, I went past a, a shop. Mm. And I want to know if you can guess what they're selling. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Is this? Um, I think we had a segment like this about um, signage. Um, my sign, your sign. <laughs> probably called my. What's sign, my your sign? sign? What's my sign? Um, Passive aggressive signage. Okay. Mm. No, I don't think that this is this is like uh, this is just explaining what this product is. <laughs> okay. 
essentially. Okay, are you ready? What is that product? Time is money. Money is power. Power is pizza. And pizza is knowledge. It's an ad for pizza. <laughs> yes, correct. Uh, thank God. But I, I think they got it wrong. Right. I think they should have... Done, they should have this, is, this is my rewrite of their slogan, okay. which I would... Which, which it's, I don't know. Is it too highbrow for pizza lovers? You, you tell me. I will. No, yeah, okay, oh, you're ready. Yeah, cool. Wait a Time is money. Money is power. Power is pizza. And pizza is infinite. Pizza is pie. Uh, so, <laughs> as in... Pie. You know, pie is an infinite number. Ah, uh, the, the... Okay, yeah. Yeah. Well, the pie is the... Isn't it the circumference of a circle or well, something like that? Yeah, well, the pie is the punchline. So, <laughs> you know, and then you just have the symbol pie. So... Yeah. Or is that too highbrow? Because they like also it, call pizza pizza pie. Yes, they have. Yes, I'm glad you made that connection. P I E. No, we don't do P I E. We do P I. Because when does it? Yeah. No, you do the little symbol, the two oh, yeah. lines with the line above it's, the top. It's extremely highbrow for a uh, walk past poster for it advertising is. pizza. It is, but if you're going to go that to that that um, that extent, mm. I know the cake shop over the road does it too. It's like. Um, Every, every every time's a good time for, for cake. Eat cake. Um, and, and then and then she said, "Let them eat cake." And then before they cut her head off, um, you she, know. Had a, she had a nice slice. Why don't you have a slice? Now, I don't want a catchy. history lesson when I'm trying to decide what to eat. <laughs> yeah, especially if it's cake or pizza or that. pizza pie. Yeah, that's it. So well, okay. uh, there you go. There's my rewrite. Uh, okay, well, we're going to go around correcting uh, <laughs> correcting signage. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, now that everything's back to normal, the new normal, and everything's exactly how it was before. Oh, yeah. A lot of people are opening up to, you know, their parties and venues. We went to a party, Mm -hmm. and um, I found it uh, difficult to talk to people at the start. Yeah, right. Usually, uh, and I knew everyone there. It's not like I'm I'm a shy uh, wallflower. Yeah. But um, yuppie. I'm I'm yappy. Yuppie. Yuppie. <laughs> the the venue did smell like um possum piss. Yeah, you kept saying that to me. Can you smell it? Can you smell it? Mm. I think uh because it's bluestone. Does bluestone I know like that in they say on the um supernatural mm. uh area, mm. uh they say that uh the bluestone absorbs that's why they use it in prison, it absorbs the bad vibes of everything. It absorbs it? stank. Yeah, it just it, it draws it in. No, I think it, I reckon I reckon the I reckon the old barn that the half the half the venue was was a hundred and fifty year old yeah, wall. Yeah, and and I think what happened is we had the heavy rains mm. and um and never I just know the smell. I pissing know, down. I know it's <laughs> possum pissing down. Right, and it's rolled down that uh, that ceiling and it's hit the walls and it's just. Permeate it. It's like mm. percolating. Soaking into the uh, the old rocks there. Yeah, so anyway, Permanent. luckily we had the smoke machine, so that yeah. we did cover. Give it a Nothing beats holding a smoke machine and, you know, firing up. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's a great feeling, <laughs> so isn't much it? Fun. <laughs> yes, but um, it was a good night. Uh, I did warm up in the end, but I found that I was smiling. Mares, Mares and I were talking, but not our mum, the other Mares. Mm-hmm. She was going, my cheeks... A fucking sore because she she hadn't smiled in a, in a year. <laughs> and it's yes. like and my tongue's getting tired from talking. Yes, yeah, I, it's something mm-hmm. happening with my mouth. So I would suggest before you go out on your big fortieth uh, or something like that. Yeah, if you've been, some, if you've been in for a while, do some mouth exercises. Yeah, like, okay. Oh, ah, nibba nobba, nibba nobba, nibba nobba, nobba. Snipper, snopper, snipper, snopper, snipper, snopper, snop. Snop. <laughs> yeah, but you know, one thing that is for sure that everybody that was there um, did say to me at some stage, geez, I haven't been out in a while. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's been a while. It's feeling a bit bloody socially awkward. So I don't think it's an isolated incident. That no, you've, it uh, takes time to warm up. Sure it does. That's, um, that's why you got to become a DJ, because you don't have to talk to anyone. You don't have to talk to anyone. anyone. It's great. Uh, but they, they did warm us up with uh, plenty of booze, which now, is you've, great. You've, you've, we, this, we can compare this to another 40th that we went to recently, where right. the guy came out to serve us, and he was it was like six items every 15 minutes. Remember the, remember the guy at... Uh, 
Uh, so yeah, he came no, over no, and yeah. he, he reached out the plate and and like I've done my fair share of bloody waitering. I oh, know what's bloody going yeah. on. I've, I've so, served or derved, right? <laughs> and um, he brings the he brings the plate over with the little um, sliders on it, yeah. burger sliders. And we're like, oh fuck, we're starving because it's been twenty five minutes since you came back out, mm. right? Um, and I went, went for the reach, the reach over to get the, the thing, and he snatched the plate away from me. The women first. He did say, so, "Ladies Girls, first." Ladies first. And I went, ah, "Okay." And then um, I saw the look in your eye, and I know the look, and it was, "I'm going to stand up and totally uh, turn this plate over." Well, I felt like fucking. Yeah, I did feel like fucking. Yes, <laughs> I did feel like doing that. So then, when when he served the women, and then you you got yourself a slider there too. Yeah. And uh, he, he passed me the plate and I went, nah, yeah. no thanks. I was grabbing it for me, wife. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah. And um, I don't think he liked me very much no, after that. but he had but shitty toilets as well, so. In comparison to where we were on the weekend, it was a smorgasbord. Yeah, now this is the thing. You can Ooh, either have you, not enough three, food or three too much ti- food. Yeah, okay. Three-tiered uh, catering. Um, which was every each each thing, Ooh, each morsel. They were coming around and coming around. They're around ready as hell. I like that personal eye. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't know when we got there. I thought here's the here's the three tiered, um, you know, smorgasbord. And I thought, right, that's this is where I'm going to settle in for the next hour. And I just started going. Just oh, thinking, yeah. this is the food. And yeah. then they started bringing out the sliders and the rice patties and the things and right. this and all yeah, that. Yeah, they did. I was bring like, oh, geez, I filled up on uh But I did have a few croquettes and whatnot. And they were good. Yeah, well, you want to try. You want to try and take the edge off the bloody uh, mm. off the three tiered platter because you don't want to look ungrateful. But, I just uh, don't want to see it all go to waste at the end of yeah, the night. Yeah, that's that's what I mean. That's so I, mean. I got into those. Um, it's it's a, the new sandwich of tacos. It is. Yeah, <laughs> so it is. it's a taco boat. Taco boat. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and you can eat the boat. You, yeah, you eat the boat that it comes in. I can't believe it. I was, I was blown away. Yeah, so it's just all oh, the technology they've got. I was today. like, how do I eat it? There's no knife or fork. Tim Taco goes, you eat the taco. You eat, you eat, you eat the bowl. There's nothing more satisfying. Mm. <laughs> then looking down. <laughs> seeing seeing nothing plate. but a table. Um, yeah, so. Get used to going out again. It's new normals. <sighs> yeah, and also get your catering right. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know. You, you always want to have too much, but you don't want to be dumping dumping your load at the end of the night. <laughs> no, or at the party, <laughs> as it was. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsor. What the hell is that? It's me guts. They're killing me. It's like a couple of shit-ass rats running around in there. Sounds like you need Alfonso's Ocean Flush Relief. Alfonso's Ocean Flush Relief? That's right. Alfonso's Ocean Flush Relief. Let me get my glasses on. I'm just going to see what it says on the label. Contains salt, pepper, hmm, oh, an endangered sea lion blubber from the Solomon Coast. How exotic. Sounds legit. Sure is. Here, try some. All right, if you say so. I'll be right back. Uh, It says here you have to inject it as close as possible to the anal gland with the provided turkey baster. Did you hear me, Ralph? Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it now. (laughs) So how do you feel? Yeah, much better, love. But... Should my stool be purple? Says it right here on the pack. That's a relief. No, Ralph. It's an Alfonso's Ocean Flush Relief. (laughs) (laughs) Oh. Alfonso's Relief. When you need relief, from relief, anytime you need relieving. Alfonso's Relief. He may not be a very successful criminal, but police have a real mystery on their hands as they try to catch a robber behind a string of break-ins. He wears a mask and a cape and could be set to strike again. Not a bird nor a plane, but shooting like a slow motion bullet through the shadowy aisles of a supermarket. A thief in the night. It's quite distinctive, the clothing he is wearing. A caped crusader 
on a dark mission, but police in Orange say this masked man is not using his forces for good. He first struck a hotel in Bloomfield on the 29th of June, but good triumphs over evil. The man in black makes off with just a handful of petty cash. The IGA is hit next, but again, the dastardly plan comes unstuck. A week later, another orange pub, but this time he's armed with a knife and a gun. With an employee tied up, he tries the ATM and the poker machines, but once again, the bungling burglar fails and makes off. Police say it's only a matter of time before he's he strikes unlocked. again. Ruth Wynn Williams, nine years. Oh, thanks, Channel Nine. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. See, is that a good way? Out? Is that a good way out of it? Like you just, you just wear a wacky uh, again costume. Again, I've asked this before. <laughs> How old should a man be before he stops donning the costume? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, the cosplay Batman the cosplay, cosplay. Uh, the cosplay. Uh, I don't know if you'd heard that one. I I'm totally missed that story. He's basically Batman. He is basically Batman. But yeah. He's like, you know, when the comics turn Batman or Superman evil for the yeah, one episode, just for one episode. Yeah. yeah they grow a beard. And that yeah. That it turn, or it turns out it's his clone or an imposter dressed as Batman. You, you'd assume that, wouldn't you? You would. But uh, how do that. we know it's the same same guy? Or is it a copycat scenario? Where <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, that's a bloody good idea, dude. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then just frame Yeah. That's so, it. So I'd go around orange now and in the Batman costume. Yeah. Doing all kinds of dastardly crimes. <laughs> and then you just know it's going to get pegged on Batman 1. Yeah, that's right. Bat 1. Bat 1. Bat 1 out. And you're Man Bat. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Not Batman. No. Nah. Man Bat. Well, what a mystery! Mm. Will we ever catch him? Will we catch him? Yeah, I reckon. Get... Go. Oh, was it? Who was that? That Bruce Wayne can't. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't it? <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Mystery Melbourne's mystery Batman says he's happy to emerge if the city <laughs> yeah oh, cleans clean. up. If the city needs him, what? <laughs> but you're just robbing people. It's yeah. just a different guy. Oh, is that, an, is that another Batman? Let's have a look. Have a we need look. a real Batman. We do need a real Batman. We do. Someone's got to take over for me. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to do this forever. Yeah, but it's like you you want a real Batman, but at what cost? Oh, they you want know? me to. Hey, they want me you to. You say you want a Batman, but it turns out to be one of the baddies. You know? Yeah. You ask for it. They don't want me to. Um, they want me to subscribe to this. To oh. read that stupid thing. So that's, no, no. No, no, no. No. <laughs> Scam the scammers, Jezbot. Just... Uh, Scroll on. Oh, wait. Here's another, here's another update. Here's another update. Yes, yes. He is. No, this is another subscription, buddy. Yeah, News see, that, that's what that, that's that. Bloody hell. We need a vigilante on the internet. Oh, we do. Shut down. Like someone like a, a Q based sort of <laughs> uh, 4chan -y. Q from Star Trek, yeah? Yes. Next generation. Yes. Mm. Wow, what a mystery. Yeah, <laughs> isn't it, though? Well, there you go. Batman. I guess we'll never find it's out. The real, the real Batman. Is he out there? Where does he get those wonderful toys? <laughs> so, so science. Mm. Um, I sent you that video of my oven and the dancing sweet potato. Ah, yes. Yes. So, should I describe it or do you want to describe Go ahead, it? right ahead. Well, what you sent me was a <laughs> photo of the actual full potato. First of all, was it peeled? No, it's full spot. You just chuck it in, in the oven. That's a Danos. Get your sweet potato here, yeah. chuck it in the oven. Yeah, that and it's, lo and it's all... lying there on, on its side, Said. Yeah, it's on Next to, that was there was two of them. Yep. One was still, and, and the one that you were filming was rocking. It was rocking dancing. Back and forth. It was. It was like, it was. Back and forth, back and forth. And I was saying, I, 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 I asked you for your oven was fan for us. Yes, it is. It is. It is. But it's not like jet propeller. No, it'd have to be... <laughs> <laughs> but or was it a heat thing? You know, like no, this I is the so so science. Yeah, thing. I, I think it was. I think um, for the poor quality of my trays, uh, they tend to buckle and twist after a many years. Oh, right. And I think it was just heating it up in that right little spot. Twist, 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 yeah, okay. Making that sweet potato, <laughs> <laughs> and it was delicious. Thanks for asking. Yeah. Uh, but, okay. Um, 
um, so what's the technique there? Because I said, oh, what are you doing? You're fucking going to have anything with that potato? And you said, yeah, I'm making a sweet potato bolognese. Yeah. Which I'd never heard of. Uh, it's uh, Cassie's invention. Okay. Sweet bolognese. Sweet potato bolognese. Okay. So this is what you do. You cook the sweet potato as previously. Uh, <laughs> then you cut it open and you throw it like you've done your, your mince. Already cooked in mints, yeah. And then you get like all like fillings of the tanka, I guess, yeah, and bolognese, yeah, and you and bacon. Well, so, am bacon I scooping bacon. some of this potato out? Uh, no, you do a cut and then you just like put it in there, like filler, yeah. But and and it, it, actually, the sweet potato could act as the bread, so right? A gotcha. gotcha, that's a lot of potato, yeah, to be treating like a hot dog roll. Yes, I am holding it like that. <laughs> yeah, you are. And, and I don't know, I got my mouth around it. But you just dig in there. Okay. And you sort of eat the wall as you're eating the filling. Like, so like your... So you guys... You were, you were fascinated the other day about the food selection with the edible taco bell. Balls. Yes. Balls? Balls. And... <laughs> tacos, edible balls. Um, and... You're fascinated by that, but you're already doing it with your sweet potato bowl. Yeah, you eat like, the bowl. It's like, it's like that sandwich guy. That's why the sandwich became so, or the baguette became so popular. Because it's like it's the Lord Baguette. Yeah. It was a Lord sandwich. <laughs> it's just Fuck like, these guys. I just like the idea of uh, just having it in your hand. There's no dishes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Do what you should just buy plastic plates. Just chuck them straight in the bin. Yeah, it's classy. It is classy. <laughs> No, but um, there are there are many many things that are happening around us that we're you know if that if that mm-hmm. happened back in the day like a dancing a dancing spider yeah. I'd probably be um, spud ghost spud ghost of yeah. course let's say we'd definitely be some evil spirit because there's heat involved there's dancing involved uh, so and you're saying you know, dancing for shape yeah, is this a movie it's spud ghost <laughs> um, uh, his name's spud yeah he was a potato. And he lives in the <laughs> oven. He, Pata- he, he Pata- haunts... Pata- ghost. Yeah? Pata- ghost. <laughs> Pata- ghost. Is he gay? No. But he's a potato. Oh, yeah. Potato ghost. Potato ghost. Potato ghost. Potato yeah. ghost. We can workshop it. Can we? Later. Will later. we? I like the idea of a... Science experiment that yeah, involves potato. working... It went wrong. Out. It went totally wrong and we created a spud ghost in the oven. Oh. Okay, or, or it's the perfect heat to dance in. I don't know. Well, I, I guess don't. we'll never know. I don't, I don't have any answers. All right. <laughs> oh, you've always got to try. Try, try again. We've got this magic ball that we sometimes whip out. Hmm. Uh, it's like a, it's like an eight ball. You shake it up. It's got thousands and thousands of words in it. Uh, it's a, it's, I think it's called a think tank. Yeah. You look for inspiration, but we, we play we play a twist on it. We make either future predictions or uh, products. T- TV shows. <laughs> T- or TV shows, yeah. 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 Um, so I'll just go, just give it a little, little shake and I read whatever word sort of floats yeah. to the surface. We, need, we usually need two or three words yeah. together. Earth. Okay, earth. Well, that's topical. Um, and then you've got cockpit. I think we need one more word. Um, sinking. Uh, a sinking, earth, a earth sinking, cockpit sinking. A sinking cockpit on Earth. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like this segment. Um, <laughs> uh, just, mm, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. Yeah, one. That's a tough one. Yeah, just chalk that one up for later. It for later always days. work. No, it doesn't. It doesn't, does it? Um, all right, so give it another another shake. Shake a dake, a dake, a doodle. Hepatization. Do you know what that is? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did have someone ask uh, on the weekend what the podcast was about, and I laughed in their face and said, "It's about nothing." Yes, that's right. Charity. Charity. Corpse. Charity corpse. Yes. So it's like. Um, well, that's when you donate well, your ta- body. No, that's a TV. No, not not that corpse. As in corporation uh, or uh, corpse, like uh, a team. They uh, were a corpse. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. So charity, they they like go out and um, take money off people. They enforce charity. Well, not unlike Bono, 
Uh, they, they, they have uh, charities that give less than 1% of the, <laughs> of the taking. So. Okay. Mm. He's a good guy, that old Bono. He's yeah. doing a lot of good work. Controversial. <clears throat> He's giving it a tear. Um, curfew. Mm. That's topical. Flute. Curfew flute. Ah, oh, it's a dude that's... It's a new job. You've got the pole patrol. They go around wiping the poles. Oh, yeah. And there's a curfew flute. When when he <laughs> skips down your street, when the piper comes a piping, yes. everybody's going to go inside. <laughs> right. You know, so, yeah. so you know, he's, he's you, you hear him. It's like Mr. Whippy. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Better get indoors before the... Uh... Or is it... And everyone's like, yeah, all right, time for curfew. You have to put a little flute jazz song on <laughs> Sure, there. sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, oh, so I that's get... a good one. Yeah, where, that's a good one. There? All right. Sometimes it's hard to actually see the... It, it is, isn't it? Radium. Radium. Mm-hmm. Species. Radium species. A species from just outside of our galaxy, the radium of the galaxy. <laughs> uh, oh, radium quicksilver. Whoa. So now we've just uh, found a new uh, element. Element. Ah, okay. Radium quicksilver. What does it do? It, um, it definitely gives you some form of cancer. It definitely surfs. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know that much. Okay, right. easy. It, 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 it so maybe it's, a surfing, maybe it's a surfing move. It's a manoeuvre. Okay. Memento. Yeah. Yep. Memento. Yep. <laughs> Memento prototype. Memento prototype, okay. No, that's no good, nope. Tim. China wear mumps. China wear mumps. Um, okay, it's a um, it's a virus that you get if you <laughs> buy too much China wear. And it lets off this um, and emits this I don't know science smell, and it gives you the mumps. And they call it the, the you get it off China, fine China. Well, it's it, when you buy fake China wear. China wear, yeah. Oh, okay. Gives you the mumps. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst segment ever. <laughs> right, let's keep going. Let's right. keep, we'll fucking keep, you keep. Keep going. turning. Cracker. Yep. Bear face. Oh, it sounds like a type of biscuit. Uh, cracker well, bear face. Bear face cracker. Oh, it sounds like a good um, Western. Oh, yeah. Cracker bear face. Bear face cracker. We don't serve your kind around here in Burnface Cracker. Um, <laughs> we don't so, sell no crackers around here. Hmm, what was the second word? Bearface? Okay. <laughs> I don't know. This ball sucks. Ah, <laughs> oh, here's something that's not hilarity. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, the pressure. The ball's yeah. putting the pressure on you. Nugget. Yes. Yes. Hilarity nugget. Yes. Um, undercurrent. Ah, okay. It's the joke you're telling when you're not telling a joke. I think we've done it there. Yeah, cool. I think we've done it there. Uh, Um, Well, there you go. Turn to the ball. Or don't. Or don't. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you for listening to The Steez. I'm Jezbot. I'm Timmy Taco. That was a fantastic episode. I'm glad you stuck around right to the end to hear the outro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I love that uh, Beats by Taco right at the end. (laughs) Is that what it is? (laughs) Something like that. Mm. Uh, yeah, so thanks for thanks for listening. We'll catch you next week, most I'm likely. Out. Yeah, we're out. And I'll say with you. <laughs> <laughs>